New podcasts are popping out everywhere like weeds in my backyard. That's because people now see how great they are for building online presence. I mean, take a look at Joe Rogan or Logan Paul. And you want to be a huge podcaster just like them, but you have no clue where to start. Behold the ultimate guide to starting your own podcast using Riverside step by step. And step one is super important. Your audio needs to be of high quality. People are listening to your voice, maybe for hours on end. Imagine you had to listen to this. You wouldn't stay for long. Would you? So make sure to use a decent microphone, such as a studio mic or perhaps even a lav mic. If you're using a studio mic, make sure that you position it to the right direction, which is your mount, of course. And this right here is a very affordable but high quality studio mic called the Blue Yeti. It's very popular as well. Now, some mics like this Blue Yeti allows you to record two people at the same time. Just turn it on the figure eight or bi directional mode. That way, the mic will record from both sides so you can sit in front of each other. Now, if you're using lav mics, make sure to place it as close to your mouth as possible. Also, don't let your clothes rub against it. That would sound like this. The video quality is important as well, but nowadays smartphone cameras are perfectly fine for recording a podcast. Of course, you need to take care of a few things first, like lighting. Make sure to sit in a room with enough light, not like this. If you don't have fancy lights, just sit in front of a window. Now, don't place the camera facing to the window, otherwise the light from outside will shine right into the lens and the talent will be difficult to see. Turn around, but in an angle so that the sunlight acts as a key light for your face. Lighting, check, but now you need to make sure that your video is framed correctly. When you and your guest are filming from different directions, you can film yourself from the middle of the screen. But when you have a guest with you in the same room, you're looking at each other. So make sure to position yourself on the left side of the frame, leave some space on the right. That indicates that you're looking at your guest. And do the same thing for the guest, but this time leave space at the left side. That way it feels natural when you're switching between two angles. You know, they're both looking at a different direction, so it seems like they are looking at each other. If they were to look at the same direction, it would feel like they are both not looking at each other and just somewhere wandering off. <laughs> All right, what now? How do we record the podcast in high quality? For that, you're gonna need a platform like Riverside. They are also sponsoring this video, by the way. It's my personal preference as well, but you'll see why in a second. To get started, you need to create a virtual studio where all the participants will connect to. Click Create New and give it a name. Here you can change the studio settings. Type in your name and select if you're using headphones or not. By the way, using headphones are definitely recommended. Now you can choose your camera and microphone from the drop down menu. Once you're done, enter the studio. By the way, there's also a free iOS and Android app that you can use to join the podcast if you're using your phone. And there you go, you're inside the studio. Now you're still alone at this point because we haven't invited anyone yet. But what if you're not satisfied with your camera quality? Don't worry, you can also hook up a dedicated camera to your PC. You will then need something called a cam link. This looks like a small USB stick that you can plug into your PC. On the other side, you'll have an HDMI port where you will plug in your camera. Also, cam links can transfer audio as well, so you can easily plug in your microphone into the camera. Okay, so everything is ready and it's time to invite your guest to the podcast. You can simply do that on the top by clicking invite. You can do that via email or by sending them a link. With the drop down menu, you can select a role. If you have an audience watching, they will not be recorded unless you call them into the podcast. You can also invite a producer to watch from backstage to make sure all your settings are correct and they also won't be recorded. And of course, here you can invite your guest. When they join the studio, you can check the microphone and camera settings of each participant. Oh, and before you start recording, head over to settings. Here you can double check your audio and video devices. And if you're not wearing headphones, enable echo cancellation. This will do its best to remove the noise coming out of your speakers so that the participants don't hear themselves. You should always wear headphones to get the best audio quality. In general settings, you can change the name of the studio or switch it between private and public. Don't forget to double check the recording settings for participants. You can actually switch between optimized quality or for advanced quality. Here you can change it to 4K or 1080p resolution. All right, so now that everything is ready, you can click the record button. The podcast will now be recorded so that you can edit and upload it afterwards. Now everything is going smooth, the recording is going well, but suddenly your guest's Wi-Fi is struggling. Maybe because he's at an airport or something, and now your podcast is ruined. Nah, just kidding. With Riverside, it will always be smooth and freeze-free. That's because the video and audio of every participant will be saved locally. Then the files will be uploaded continuously to the cloud so that the host can download them afterwards. That's why huge influencers like Ali Abdal, Tyler Stellman and Hayden Hillier-Smith use Riverside. Speaking of a huge audience, as a beginner, you don't really have anyone who wants to see your podcasts. It's 
hard reality. Nobody likes me. Instead of praying to the social media algorithm gods, you can invite interesting people to your podcast. For example, artists, business owners or content creators. I'm not saying you need to invite Elon Musk or PewDiePie, but maybe some local people who are willing to join your podcast. By doing that, you give the people a reason to watch your podcast. It will give you views because of someone else's popularity. Now, before you invite them, you need to prepare yourself. Find an exciting topic that people want to find out about. You can play with FOMO or even jump on a trend. For example, AI will take over your job and here's why. Make sure you have the right questions prepared. Think about potential answers you'll get and how you can respond to them. Don't be afraid to ask questions about your guests that people don't know yet. Maybe a hidden tattoo or a relationship that nobody knows about. Lots of people would definitely be interested in that. Now to prevent the podcast from being awkward or weird, ask your guests to do a rehearsal. That way you can practice the questions in advance and you'll know how to respond much faster and natural when you're recording for real. If you're working for different locations, help the guests setting up the camera and microphone. It's really important for both of you to get high quality audio and video. Okay, so you're done with the podcast. Imagine you have a two hour recording and you need to find a way to promote it. To do that, find the most exciting parts and create short form content from them. This allows you to grow and find an audience on social media. Just imagine how many shorts you could make from a two hour podcast. With Riverside, this has never been easier. Go to your studio and click view recordings. Here you'll see all the recordings from that studio session. Click it and now you'll see all the separate tracks of the participants. You can actually download the raw video and audio and edit it in Premiere if you like so. There's also a transcription, but more about that in a second. On the top right, click on Edit and Create Clips. Then select Story Mode for Shorts and Reels and there we go. This is the most beautiful timeline I've ever seen. You can do all the basic stuff such as splitting and deleting, but the best thing is that it is text-based editing. You don't even need to go through the timeline. You can just see the purple highlight as the playhead in Premiere Pro. Simply select a part that you don't need and delete it. You can also trim clips shorter or longer to delete parts of the footage. Then you can literally see the text disappear from your script. And this is powered by Riverside's AI transcription. It's a tool where you can simply drag and drop your file. This can be an MP4, WAF or MT3, whatever. Select the language you're speaking and click start transcribe. Once it's done, you can download it as a TXT file or an SRT or you can upload it to YouTube, by the way. Now to create a short, simply select a portion of your video by dragging the selection and as you can see that selection would also be highlighted in your text editor. If you're looking for a specific topic or word just type it in the search bar and there you go. To further customize your video click the layout options on top. Here you can change the shape and the order of the participants videos. The AI speaker layout will put the speaker in full screen but when another participant is speaking the layout will automatically change to that person. So first of all what inspired you to create videos on YouTube? Well, I've always had a passion for creating videos about film. How awesome is that? You can also choose a background for your video or perhaps upload a custom one. And this way you can fully edit your podcasts all from within your browser. And when you're done, just click export. You'll receive an email when it's done processing. Then go back to your recordings and scroll down to clips. Here you will find all the edited clips. So at Riverside, you can really boost your career as a podcaster, but also as a content creator. You can actually start completely for free by clicking the link down in the description and by using the code Riverside Basics, you can also get 20% off any Riverside individual plan. So don't hesitate guys to get started right away. Thank you so much for watching and as always, stay creative.